So welcome. So today we're doing two different boxes. We're going to be doing uh, uh, FSF Prep and also Odd System Shell Dread. So we're going to throw those two ones. Uh, should be pretty quick. Probably about a 15 minute video. So we'll go ahead and start here. Uh, I was doing them yesterday. These same exact ones. But uh, the um, microphone ended up sounding like trash. So I'm going to see the InfoSec Prep. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete anything that's in here. So I'm going to delete, uh, or remove that IDR say. The SQL pass, we don't really need to remove it. I'll show you where I got that from. But, um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll start this guy up. So if I do an MF scan on him, let me go ahead and clear this first for you guys. And let's do our MF scan. Alright. So we got port 80 and port 22 up and running, right? So let's go ahead and get into port 80 here. And as you can see, we got some OCP voucher, all right, by admin. All right, whenever there's words that you can actually read on a page, I always read them because uh, it's something big deal. And since we also have port 22, we also want to make sure there's no banners or anything like that. So we're just going to see what this says like right here. Must be a member of the server in order to use the command above. For those downloading this box off vault hub at a later time, the command will no longer be available. Alright, it's not going to be available for us because we're getting it on proving grounds, so it's not going to be available for us either. Alright, uh, this, this is old. But um, what we can do is, let's see here, I almost forgot the only user on this box is OSCP. Alright, so it actually gives us the username, so that's something like right there. Alright. So we're going to stop this uh, scan like right here, and we'll go ahead and do a uh, try SSH OCP at the IP address. See if we get anything, and let's also start up a Durbuster too. So we'll start with Python three. And something I always like to do is uh, just like whenever I check for you know see if there's any banners that that uh, whenever I see. Uh, that there is a port 80, I always check robot.txt, that there's a upload.php, uh, upload.html, anything like that. So I always check for robot.txt, because that one takes a while to even get to. But we do have it, actually. Uh, another way I think we can look at it, actually, is to do an MMAP scan. We'll let that run like, real quick. So we also see we do have a WordPress content down here too. The first time I was doing this, I just let this guy go ahead and run. I saw the WordPress stuff. Started to work on trying to do some WordPress stuff and uh, realized I wasn't really getting anywhere with that. Um, so I uh, stopped doing that. Forgot that like the OE username for that one was admin. Couldn't get the password. Uh, my WordPress scan wasn't able to crack the password, things like that. So we got a word issue, obviously good, but I was not getting anywhere with that one. So I went ahead and stop that. But um, let's see, we know we have robots.txt and it says secret.txt. Let's go ahead and uh, copy that. And we'll try this like real quick. And we get this guy like, right here. Now this to me looks like an RSA key. Just hashed into something else. Like a base64 hash or something like that. Um, I can go to CyberChef and try to figure it out. So let's try that. We'll do a little CyberChef here. Whoops. It's just to be able to figure it out, right? Cyber Chef. And yeah, we do see that there is a robots.txt. So if we did that bad scan slash secret, cool. Alright, so we know that there is robots.txt. If uh, you just didn't want to try to just throw a whole bunch of different stuff at it. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. And then we'll do from base64. Try that first. See if we get anything, and 100% we do. Alright, so we have a begin open SSH. That looks like I thought it looks like an ID RSA key. So let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll nano ID RSA. Throw that in there. And they did say that the only user was OSCP, right? So let's go ahead and do a SSH tag I OSCP. At the IP address, which I definitely just messed that up. Okay, SSH, tag I, OSCP, at the IP address. Let's grab that. 
my wife put in the uh, IDR is aching, huh? If I do an attack guy, if I do an identity file, I might actually want to put in what the file is. All right, that didn't work right, so we do need to change our privileges. So we'll change mode 600, IDR say. Go back, we'll try it again. Or if you get a password on there, if you ask for a password, that's another thing too. All right, cool, ls-la, so there's our local.txt okay, file. Let's go ahead and cat our SUID lookup, see what we can do. Um... A lot of stuff looks pretty normal. I think that user been bashed or something right there. But let's go ahead and uh, do um a soul limpy data. Uh privilege escalation also scripts. Alright. Limpies. We just go ahead and throw limpy data we'll see uh what our best uh, attack vector is going to be. So let's go ahead and start our Python server. Instead of just throwing a whole bunch of different stuff at it, you can do that. I know which one it is, but I mean, might as well do it the right way. Um, so when I have fig, it's like my IP address over here, and we'll do HTTP. Limpies dot All right, um, and we'll put it to the slash temp folder. Okay, so if I see you just slash temp now, I'll let's take LA. I should have Lipsy's in here. Maybe not. Okay. Okay, let's just put it like right there. It's kind of surprising me. So let's change mode for libp's. We'll do plus x for libp's dot sh. Oops, that's not a thing. Libp's dot sh. I like the way to run that. So we do see that they do have a Docker running. We could uh, upgrade like that. They also had sudo had uh, saying that hey, something's wrong there. So there's a couple different ways to privilege escalate in this box like right here. Um, sudo version is old, but we'll see what that's all about. Let's say sudo up here. So on IPs, caching writable folders. And that's something writable in sudo. Now, obviously, we get privilege escalation with that. Um, I don't know this guy's password though, so I'm really looking at something with, you know, that can run on SUID. Um, we do have a MySQL server up and running right here. So there's that Docker and sudo again. Alright, sudo again. wonder what uh, we can do with that, like right there. Let's check that out and see what we can do with it. Alright, possible private and stage keys file. We already do that. User been bashed saying that that's a privilege escalation. User been bashed. All right, cool. I wonder if I can do with that other one because I know that one of them works. So find all two ID binaries. See, this one you become be prompted for your user password. We don't know the user password yet, but we do know that we can do a GTFO bids and maybe able to look at. Um, User bin bash. All right. So we have SUID here. Okay. Bash tag P. So let's try to do a slash user bin bash tag P. Let's try that. And who am I? And we see that we're root now. So we cd slash root. LS tag LA. And there's our proof.txt. All right. Um, if you want to see how you get an SQL server, we can do MySQL. Today, the 3306 is MySQL. Tag U username. I just figured it was root. I hit enter, and there's no password. So that made my life a lot easier. We can do a show databases. Uh, we can uh, use WordPress. 
Okay. Show tables. And then we can uh, select star from. So I select everything from WordPress users. Okay. And as we can see, we have an admin user here, and that's his hash password. So with a strong enough uh, list, you can obviously crack that also. All right, uh, you can go ahead and look through all these different guys and stuff. Um, I wasn't really finding anything too important in there, but it is something that you should know how to do. And uh, MySQL is something that's used often. So that's that one like right there. Like I said, we are going to be doing two today. So we're, we'll go ahead and we'll go into... Uh, Go ahead and get into. I think we were doing. I don't remember what we were doing. On system shell dread, right? Uh, I don't know why I even CD in there. So last night, if you were watching that stream, um, I totally forgot how to even do it. And, uh, yeah, I totally forgot how to do that one. And then I had to. Uh, I did it again, and I realized why I forgot how to do it. This one's pretty easy but um still good what I mean still good for you know beginners um just doing one getting your uh just make yourself feel better I don't know but yeah still definitely a good one so we'll go ahead and start it up and uh, see what we got here Alright, cool. So this guy started up. So let's go ahead and uh, get into him. Do that map scan as usual. Alright, we do see that port 21 is open. So whenever we see port 21, we always want to dig a little bit deeper into that, right? And I do remember for this one that we are going to want to do a rust scan for it just because of how long it's going to take with that MF scan. And we do see port 21 is open and anonymous login is allowed. Um, so let's go ahead and get into port 21. So we'll FCP into that. Okay. That's where I enter. So right here I uh, did my Alice Tech LA. Saw that there was a HANA. That's obviously hidden. All right. That's why I always do LS Tech LA. You see the in the period HANA. And from here, I find the IDRSA. But I still didn't know there was no port 22 wasn't open. So that's why I did my Rust scan next, which then showed me that, hey, there's a port 61,000. So let's go ahead and end that. Attack P61,000. All right. And we'll go ahead and look at this like, real quick. And let me go ahead and pull that uh, IDRSA down. So I'll w get, or I'll get that ID. RSA. Yeah, and we can exit out of here. We go with that. And for some reason I did it in Olympi, so let's copy or let's actually move ID RSA into desktop. Uh, let's prove the grounds, right? And we are on, on system shell dread. Let's see in there. And there we go, there's our, our IDRSA. Um, so, as you see, we have our, this is for SSH. Let's go ahead and uh, change that up. So, we'll change mode 600 for our DRSA. And we think the user is HANA like right now, right? So, let's go ahead and log in. Uh, SSH, tech I, IDRSA, RSA, tech P61000. Right, and it's going to be Hannah at the IP address. And we're in. Okay, cool. I'll ask tech LA. See what we do in here? We got our user local.txt. Uh, I'm not going to show you local.txt, but I will show you user.txt, which says that your flag is in our file. All right, can we sudo check out? Nope, we can't. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a cat for uh, SUID lookup. So we go ahead and run here. 
And this is right where, if you were watching earlier, if you noticed, it said something about CPU limit. Um, I, I don't know why someone would need CPU limit, nor do I know what that would do for somebody. So let's go ahead and look at GTFO and look at uh, CPU limit. <laughs> CPU limit. Yep. Uh, the SUID. If we run this like right here, supposedly we can become root. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a weird one. That F user mount and mock all these ones. Like I didn't understand any of these ones. M A W K. See if that guy. No, I'll try something too. We could probably try this one. Want to try this one? We're gonna try this one like, real quick. Because I already know that CPU limit works, so I'm gonna try this guy like, real quick. Um, so what is that? That's user, user bin mock. Okay, so that didn't do anything for me. That's okay though. So I exit out of that. All right. Um, let's try this app user mount. Try that one. This is just me just messing around now. This is video is only about three seconds long. Okay, cool. So we'll go back to CPU a little bit, and we'll do our SUID for it, right? And we'll go ahead and uh, put in there a user bin CPU limit. And we'll go ahead and delete that. And as we can see, we now have a uh, root. We've logged the root root now. So who am I? Okay, I am root. Okay. I are root. So let's see the in the root. Last tag LA, and there's our proof dot text. So just so that we could do this, I'm gonna look at my root cat dot text. And uh, yep, so it is in our proof dot text. So you guys can go ahead and do that and look at that one. All right, and that's how to do both on system shell dread and infosec prep. Prep. So that's two of them. Uh, hope you guys learned something and have a good one.